The following excerpt is a typical statement in support of evolution. Scientists accept evolution as the best and only theory that accurately explains how humans and other species came to be so diverse. The theory is supported by many studies in many different fields of science, according to nearly all scientists. The bottom line is that the world is round, humans evolved from extinct species, and Elvis is dead, the article says. People want to hear the truth, and they want to hear it from scientists. That's a pretty strong statement. And while it is admitted that the larger percentage of scientists do support the theory of evolution to one degree or another, is evolution totally accepted by all scientists? Are there any credible, degreed, peer-respected scientists who flat-out reject the theory of evolution? Well, you see, that's the part that you won't hear reported. So let's take a look at this topic a bit more fairly. Despite strong pressure to accept evolution, there are many intelligent and experienced scientists the world over who dismiss evolution as highly unlikely or even impossible. According to Newsweek, in 1987, over 20 years ago, by one count, there are some 700 scientists with respectable academic credentials who give credence to creation science. Remember, that was over 20 years ago. The number of those scientists is apparently growing annually. In a 1999 article, just 10 years later, by Dr. Russell Humphreys, he estimates that there are around 10,000 practicing professional scientists in the United States alone who openly believe in a six-day creation. At this website, there is a list of 100 PhD scientists, highly accomplished in their fields, who are ardent and outspoken creationists and they have published many works declaring their positions. You can review each of them in detail, and more scientists are being added to their number all the time. The list continues to grow. The list goes from A to Z. Two examples from this list are Dr. Kevin Anderson, PhD in microbiology from Kansas State University. He is a former professor of microbiology at Mississippi State University. He has published over 20 technical papers on genetics and molecular biology of bacteria. Dr. Henry Zuhl, PhD and MA in biology from Loma Linda University, California. He is the curator of the Joshua C. Turner Arboretum in Nebraska. He is a professor of biology at Union Hills College in Lincoln, Nebraska. In addition to this obvious embarrassment to evolutionists and their claim to have virtually all scientists on board with them, there have been many embarrassing books published within the last 20 years. Books that are not written from a Christian perspective at all, but from a purely scientific perspective concerned only with scientific truth that quite heavily dispel many of the myths of evolution that are continually put forth as truth. Here are some of those books, readily available over the internet for your review. And there are many more. As Science Digest reported over 30 years ago, scientists who utterly reject evolution may be one of our fastest growing controversial minorities. Many of the scientists refuting evolution hold impressive credentials in science. One example of these type scientists is the late Dr. Arthur E. Wilder Smith an honored scientist with an amazing three earned doctorates. He held many distinguished positions. A former evolutionist, Dr. Wilder Smith, debated various leading scientists on the subject throughout the world. In his opinion, the evolution model did not fit as well with the established facts of science as did the creation model of intelligent design. Dr. Wilder Smith says, the evolutionary model says that it is not necessary to assume the existence of anything besides matter and energy to produce life. That proposition is unscientific. We know perfectly well that if you leave matter to itself, it does not organize itself, in spite of all of the efforts in recent years to prove that it does. Secular researcher Richard Milton, a British journalist and writer and author of Alternative Science Challenging the Myths of the Scientific Establishment, says, 
Evolution's ascendancy in science, both in Britain and America, has been waning for several decades as its grip has weakened in successive areas, geology, paleontology, embryology, comparative anatomy. Now even geneticists are beginning to have doubts. It is only in mainstream molecular biology and zoology that Darwinism retains serious enthusiastic supporters. As growing numbers of scientists begin to drift away from neo-Darwinist ideas, the revision of Darwinism at the public level is long overdue, and it is a process that I believe has already started. Yes, the process has indeed started, and it is growing. Now thanks to YouTube and other internet venues, it is growing the world over. Is there any wonder why the evolutionary community is in such an uproar? Now you know the truth.